I grew up here on the Isle of Man, the beautiful Isle of Man. The TT is the one time of year when it's at full capacity. For two weeks in the year, the island comes alive. The speed, the smell, the sound, it just it blows the socks off you. In today's sanitised world, when you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do the other, the TT is like, it's a breath of fresh air. But we all know the risks, we all know it's dangerous. You realise you know, that you are pretty vulnerable. Uh, my name is Richard Milky Quail. That's the Milky Bar Kid. There's a television advert for the chocolate bar. When I was younger, everyone says, oh, it looks like the Milky Bar Kid. I always thought it was slightly different to stand out in the road racing scene rather than just being Fred Smith from Burnley or whatever. In life, you've got to be a little bit different, haven't you? Milky Bar himself, Richard Quayle, only his mum ever calls him that. Being from the Isle of Man, my goal was always to do the TT. I just wanted to go fast, I just wanted to ride my bike to its limits. In a short career, I did alright, like. I've had four wins around the TT course in my time, three Max Grand Prix and a TT. Richard Quayle wins! Best day of my life was standing on that podium, spraying the champagne, the TT. People say that the birth of your son or you know, your wedding day and all that, it's like, Laugh, aren't you? Don't get me wrong, your wedding day's ace, but it's not it's not the same. What do you want? Yeah, I want a Kojak. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a Kojak. In 2003, uh, I was four months pregnant uh, with our son, Ilium. I'd always said to my wife, as soon as we have kids, I'm giving up racing. But 2002 I had such a good year. Me being me, I just wanted to ride. I knew it was going to be my last TT. I wanted to go out and I wanted to win again. The morning of the race, there was just a sixth sense something was going to happen. Milky Quail, he's looking very, very good. This could be his best TT ever. I broke my left shoulder, uh, broke all my ribs on my left hand side of my rib cage, had a punctured lung, punctured spleen, punctured kidney. When my bones broke, they just caved in on everything else. If people hadn't donated blood, I wouldn't be near because I lost, I don't know how much blood, because the internal bleeding. And I was told the chances of him making the next 24 hours were very slim. And I suppose it makes you realise how lucky we were that Richard pulled through. Obviously, I would have loved not to have crashed and gone out on a high, but unfortunately I went out on a low. I think you always feel as if you had unfinished business. It's one of those things that will always eat at me, you know, to my last day. I think that's why I make myself so busy, is to try and take my mind off it. I'm always on the go. So now I've got my own little uh, hire car rental business. And I work driving buses as a part-time job in the evenings. You've got another mouth to feed. I don't want to leave it and let her sort it out if I'm not here. Have you just put the top on that, mate, have you? Yeah. But I love my wife, I love my son. But I want to try and stay around for as long as possible, don't you, really? <laughs> that was a forceful bit of riding for sure. <laughs> Even when I stopped racing at the TT, I, I'd still, I still love it. You know, it's hurt me, but I still love it. I'm passionate about it, I want it to be a success. What I like to do now is put my input into the new riders. I've been training the newcomers now since about 2005, I think it is. I must have trained over, I don't know, 200 people, 300 people now. Yeah. I like to pass on my experience and knowledge as regards to keeping them safe. If you have the wrong road position, it can catch you out. And, you know, even if I wasn't involved in this side of the role, I'd be doing something to help out. 
is literally the best thing in the world, as far as I'm concerned. So I want the new riders to feel the passion and the experience that I had in my TT career. But to come back safe and sound, 